Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. I hope you're doing well today. I've got a Belgian IPA to review for you today. It's from Duvel, or Duvel, however you pronounce it. And uh, it's their Triple Hop Citra. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, Citra is by far my favourite hop. I've probably said that a million times on this channel over the years. Um, but I've never had it with a Belgian yeast for. So um, I'm really excited to see what this turns out like. Um, I don't mind a good Belgian beer. I love a Citra Hop IPA. And like I say, that combination of Citra Hops with the Belgian yeast is, is, is really interesting. So I'm looking forward to this one. Um, it's coming in at a whopping 9.5% ABV. You might be able to read that there. The light's shining on it. Bottom corner, 9.5% ABV. So it's a bit of a whopper. 9.5% ABV, I picked this up for £2 in Morrison's, I believe, um, but it is quite widely available, this one. There's the bottle cap on it. Quite a smart one as it goes. Um, what does it say on the bottom? This Duval is brewed with a third expressive hop variety. The Citra from Yakima Valley, United States, of course, deeply aromatic and bitter with citrus notes. Um, so, yeah, 330ml bottle, 9.5% Duval triple hop Citra. Um, so let's get this uh, triple hop citra from Duval out of the bottle into the glass. Whoa, bit of life in that one. Oh, Poor and lovely. As you'd expect from a Belgian beer, it's developing a cracking head on it. Rest of that in there. That looks, that looks terrific. It really does. Um, Put that there so we can see it. Slightly lighter than perhaps what you'd normally expect from a Belgian beer, but other than that, the characteristics are the same. Look at the carbonation. You see that rushing up the glass there. Um, as you'd expect, hazy, pale looking beer. Got a full-on two-finger, quite frothy, foamy, fluffy-looking white head on it. The carbonation rush in that beer is mental. So the camera's picking that up. There you go. You see that at the bottom there. Bang. Flying away at the bottom. It looks superb. Let's get me snouting. See what sort of aroma we're dealing with. Okay, the citra isn't pronounced as pronounced, should I say, as you would get with... Most citra hopped IPAs, but it's there, it's subtle, and it's there with that kind of candied fruit sweetness that you get from Belgian yeast. There's a little sort of a how to describe it, it's almost like a slightly sort of a vegetable aroma going on with it as well. It's going to sound off putting. It, it's not, but it almost smells like there's a little bit of rhubarb in there as well. I'm getting from that combination of the hops and the yeast. Definitely a, a vegetative. Is that a word? Vegetative? <laughs> a highly vegetable type aroma. It's really odd. Soul citra hop. That candied sugar from the yeast and there's a there's definitely vegetable there it's all, <laughs> this is gonna sound really odd like cabbage or something brussels sprouts really odd i'm not really sure what to make of that from the aroma anyway before I get stuck in, uh, I'll dedicate this one to my mate Jaden in Australia. Um, he turns 18 today, so he's now officially allowed to go out and get hammered. So uh, welcome to the piss up, uh, piss up crew, Jaden. Happy birthday to you, son. Um, let's get stuck in, shall we? Cheers. Thin, light, well carbonated. Belgian yeast is definitely the most pronounced flavour on this beer. 
Um, it's quite thin. It's quite watery. The carbonation levels are quite heavy. It's very fizzy throughout. But it is citrusy. I'm getting kind of lime. More lime than anything else from the hop characteristic. Slightest bit of pineapple, maybe. And that back end. That back end is, is quite savoury, has a savoury, not overly bitter finish, but it's definitely a savoury finish. I'm not all that impressed, if I'm honest. Again, a lot of people waffle on about Duval. Duval Belgian beers and how great they are. They just ain't doing nothing for me. They're just not working for me. Um, the mouth feels nice. It's drinkable. Um, you're getting a bit of that 9.5% ABV. It's very warming. I mean, I've only had, what, two, three speaks of it. You can feel that slight alcohol heat down. Light, well carbonated, thin. It's got a nice body to it. It's drinkable. The hop character just isn't coming through enough for me. I love a citra beer and I'm not really getting much of it on this. The Belgian yeast is taking over. Um, and I, I guess so it should, really, seeing as it's a, a Duval. Um, but it, it, yeah, it definitely takes over. I was interested to see how the citra hop paired with the Belgian yeast and the Belgian yeast character, the candied fruit, the sweetness, it, it just takes over for me. I'm not sure they blend well, at least not for my palate. Yeah, the hops aren't pronounced enough on this. The Belgian yeast is coming through in abundance, getting that candied fruit. It's almost like I'm eating sort of, um, Lime boiled sweets, you know, sort of thing your old man would have had in the glove box in his car for the long journeys, you know. Lime flavoured candied sweet, hard boiled lime flavoured sweet. That's kind of what I'm getting. There is the tiniest bit of a tropical fruit note from the Citra Hop, but not a lot. That Belgian yeast it, it is really takes over. No, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Um, I, I just don't think it works for me. I just don't think a Citra Hop IPA is, um, is Duvel style. They're certainly not their speciality. Uh, I think it shows in this for me. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed again with this. Duvel's got such a good history and such a, a good reputation. Um, I don't know how long they've been doing this beer. I would imagine this is something that they've probably started brewing over the last few years to kind of stay relevant. Um, for me, it's just not It's just not very good. It doesn't work for me. I think a Belgian beer should stay a Belgian beer, and I think Citra Hopped IPAs should be separated from Belgian yeast. That's just my opinion. You may totally disagree. Leave your comments below. If you had this one, what did you think of it? Um, yeah, this this is um, this has got me a little bit twisted. This one, I'm not um, I'm not sure about it. I'm really not. It's sweet. It's light bodied, thin, well carbonated. It's all that yeast. It's all that candied fruit. A little bit of citra, citra hop character all the way through, but it's really subtle and it's always just behind that yeasty character. It just doesn't quite do enough for me. Um, but that is that, it's it's drinkable, it's certainly drinkable, but I just, 
it's not doing enough. I'm not getting enough Citra character um, to warrant me purchasing it again. And yeah, yeah, I'm not sure I'm a fan of Belgian yeast enough to go out of my way to buy this one. Just because it's got Citra hops in it. I think there are plenty of better Citra hopped IPAs out there than that. Um, and if you like the Belgian, if you're a fan of your Belgian beers, this, this might be right up your alley. It might be exactly what you're looking for. But um, yeah, but give it a try. I know for say, Morrison's do that, two pound a bottle. Pretty sure I've seen it in um, Tesco's as well. Uh, so Duvel with their, their uh, triple hop Citra, Belgian IPA, nine and a half, 9.5% ABV. It just seems like a waste of ABV. Um, yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed with it. I, I think it's um, it's an experiment. And for me, it just hasn't worked. It just hasn't worked for me. So I'm gonna give it um I'll give, give it a 4.5. It's it's well made. It's well made. The mouthfeel is very nice. Um, but I'm just not sure the hops and the yeast work well enough for me. So I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 10 uh for what it's worth. So once again, yeah, Duvel, triple hop, citra, available in uh Tesco, Morrison's two pound a pop. Um, go check it out. I hope you've enjoyed the review, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you have. And until my next one, you take care.